when I first got into training, there was kind of like this dogma of, well, low reps are for strength, like five reps and under six to 15 reps are for hypertrophy and 15 plus reps are for strength endurance. So there was this idea that there was this hypertrophy rep range. And there was also, I think even the ACSM's guide for a long time or their position statement was that you need to train at least 60% of your one rep max in order to get hypertrophy. And this all kind of got the lid blown off of it around 15 years ago when Stu Phillips lab published research data showing similar hypertrophy doing very light loads, but taking the sets to failure. I mean, we're talking about like 30, 40% of a one rep max doing 30 plus reps going to failure. And they saw similar hypertrophy as doing lower reps with heavy loads. Interestingly, Brad Schoenfeld tells a story and originally he criticized this paper because it was an untrained men. And he was like, well, if I do it and train people, it's going to show that this doesn't work. And he found the exact same thing and trained people. So this indicates that again, mechanical tension is cumulative and hypertrophy can be induced by a wide range of repetitions.